Sergio here. I'm back with another game of another game. Ha. <laughs> another episode of Mountain Blade Warband. Great music. Love it. Um, and again, I am using the Silver Stag mod. Um, apparently the developer of the Silver Stag mod is watching this series. Um, very cool, man. Shout out to you. I can't believe you found this in some hidden corner of the internet. Um, but yeah, your, your comments and suggestions on when I screw things up and don't understand what the mod is doing are very helpful. For instance, a comment made on episode 2. You notice that my character's riding skill is only one, and I was very confused as to why that was, since I pumped two points into riding. Um, apparently my armor has some encumbrance on it, and uh, keeps me from being able to have a high of riding level as I should. So I'm actually going to try here, going to my inventory, uh, I'm going to take off the armor, take off the... <laughs> just a dude in some boots. And now, aha! See, now my now my riding level is three. Nice. As well, my shield level's higher. A lot of other things are higher too. If I go back to my inventory, let's just put on the helmet. Is that what did it as well? I think it was the I think it was the armor. Yeah. So the armor is lowering my power draw. It's lowering my riding. Um. Huh. Very interesting. Lowering my shield as well. And I didn't realize it, but I need to level up here, so we'll pump one of the strength here. Mm hmm. And I think I'll also pump a point into. Uh, another point into shield. Shield's useful. Okay, nice. Done. Um, I still need to buy some bolts. I'm gonna go check really quickly and see if there's any bolts at the arms merchant. That would be extremely useful. Bent bolts. Uh, I prefer not to buy bent bolts, but... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I do need some type of, of bolts right now. So... Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to buy the bent bolts for now. Yeah. Another thing I realized, I was complaining again that the mod that the bows were completely useless um, a simple look at the power of them like explains this this hunting crossbow is 37 P 37 piercing damage this war bow only is 26 um, so the bows just do a little less damage than crossbows and that makes sense in particular the hunting bow I had had like 15 damage so it did basically no damage one last thing I should note before I get going here um, as I'm playing through this series, I am, of course, pre-recording the episodes, obviously, and uploading them. So if you make a comment on something and say, hey, Zarjo, you're an idiot, you missed out on this, or hey, you should try this, I probably won't read that comment until two episodes later, two or three. Um, and so if I'm still doing something wrong the next episode, don't rage. I just haven't read your comment yet. Really quickly, we're going to see if we can do some recruitment here in Uxel. Um, four mercenaries, 20 peasants, and 30 mounts to recruit. I could get some of my first round of cavalry here. Um, Swati Man at Arms, they have very high armor, good melee rating, but they're really expensive. And actually, I don't want to. <laughs> that's that's too expensive. Watchmen are very cheap. Actually, Watchmen look like an all-around decent unit. The problem with mercenary units such as Watchmen and Caravan Guards um, is that uh, they cost, I think, a little more to keep in your party. Their weekly cost is a lot higher because they're mercenaries. How about a Swadian footman? He has very high armor rating. It would be nice to have some tough um, infantry such as Swadian footman. Hmm. And there's also Swadian infantry who are a little bit tougher as well. Swadian sergeants are really tough. I want to buy some of these infantry, I think. I have all archers right now, and I need someone with heavy armor who can sort of, you know, take some of the abuse from cavalry charges and such. So I think I might just get a bunch of Swadian... Either footmen or infantry. Um, the sergeants are just too expensive right now. And their their stats are pretty similar, except that I see the infantry has a little better armor here. Um, melee is basically the same. So I'm going to recruit... Oh, I can't get that many even right now. I can't even, I can't even get 10. We'll get... 
We'll try to get eight right now. See if we can get eight. Yep, I'm down to 160 bucks. That was basically all my money. We'll take these Swadian infantry. We'll move them up in the order. Um, we'll actually put them, yeah, put them above everybody else. So I finally have some infantry, eight infantry here in my little troop. Um, we're going to go to Tahirim. Dirim? Dirim? I don't know. Again, I mispronounce everything in this game. Um, see what's up at the tavern. See if we can hire any companions, etc. So I still got that bandit lair to destroy. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. I have lots of time. And again, we're heading to Amarad. Berglin is looted. Forest bandit. Speed 5.0. My speed 4.7. Nope. We'll not be catching those guys. And the merchant caravan, of course, is continuing to follow me. Probably feeling much more protected now that I have 30 healthy troops instead of... I think I had 12 after that battle. It was madness, man. When you've played Mountain Blade enough, you start making assumptions about the quality of your troops and the quality of the enemies, and you just say, Oh yeah, I can do this with 30 troops. And then you get into the battle and you realize that you're in deep trouble. Um, because this isn't a save file you've had for a while. This is a new game and your troops suck and the enemies are actually decently strong. Ah, such great music. Count Tridian. Ah, uh, let's go talk to him, why not? Right, Tron Silver at your service, sir. He's a jerk. He's a jerk just like Jarl Farn was. Do you have any tasks for me, though, you jerk? I'm not going to tear. Nope. Do you have any other tasks for me? Then I need to leave. Goodbye. So Tyr, of course, is in the Kingdom of Nords territory. We ran by that uh, earlier. It's down here. Obviously, it's in the opposite direction of Amarad, so we're not going to Tyr. Oh, and we have arrived in Dehirim. Go to the tavern first. Good military commander always goes to the tavern first. Clethy! Yay! She is one of the companions I want. Hello there. From the look of you, I'd say you're expecting to get in some fight near the future. Are you by any chance looking for some help? I could be. What's your story? Well, sir, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for pretty things, and it's gotten me into trouble, you see. I grew up in Malyard Castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchens. I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job, and eventually the lord realized that I might also be employed to track down bigger game, on certain errands of a type perhaps better left unsaid. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that had formerly belonged to my lord's enemies. So I was able to buy myself out of bondage and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Dehirim. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind I simply could not resist. She doesn't know it's missing yet, but she might soon. So help me, are you looking for help? Tell me, are you looking for helpers? I might be, what can you do? I mean, beyond robbing me blind. Well, sir, let me tell you, I may not know how to read and write, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart is between his fourth and fifth rib, if you understand me. She's a keeper. I can throw knives in addition to stabbing with them, and I'm slippery as quicksilver. You'll find me useful in a fight, I'll warrant. That sounds like a new job, I'll hire you. That's good news, Captain, so how about paying me a little sling to seal off agreement? A mere 200 would be enough. No! I don't... No, I spent all my money on infantry. I gotta sell something. Mm, I can't sell fruit and fish. These are worth nothing. Here's what we're going to do. I can't disband people either. They're not worth anything. Let me see your equipment, Marnid. This bow is useless anyway, so we'll start by selling that. I think I upgraded as well. If I look at Marnid's skills, I think I upgraded his archery. That was probably a mistake. I'm probably going to turn him into an infantry or a mounted archer um, and upgrade his crossbow skill instead. So you're an infantry now. Oops. Ay, 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 ay. And let's go to my own inventory, and I don't want to sell any of this. I need to sell... Okay. I need 200 bucks. I have... Oh, I have 160 right now. We're close. Good, good, good. If we sell the bow and the arrows, I'll receive 45. That's enough! <gasps> yes! I have enough money! Woohoo! 
My apologies if I was rude earlier. What was your story again? Blah, 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 blah. I'll hire you. Here's 200 dinars. Yes! Excellent. Now, uh, Clethy's going to go up in the ranks, certainly above Marnid. Uh, let me see your equipment. <laughs> she has a dress and boots right now. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money to buy her anything better. So for right now, um, she's just going to fight in dress and boots with a dagger. Now, if I ask her about her skills, though, Clethy is really useful right now. She has two levels of tracking. Two levels of pathfinding, two levels of spotting. Oh, and she has two levels of inventory management, too. What do you know? Um, I don't believe there's anyone in to hear him. We'll talk to the guildmaster really quick, just to see if he has anything interesting to tell us. Any good quests? Do you happen to have a job for me? Uh, deliver some cargo. Sure, let's see if he's got it. Uh, I have a cargo of wine needs to be delivered to the tavern in Uxal. If you can take 7 units of wine to Uxal in 7 days, you can earn 658 bucks. Uxal... Oh, Uxal's just back a little ways. Ah, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll go back to Uxal. We'll drop off the wine. Why not? And then we'll head to Amarad, since it looks like I got time. So we'll go back to Uxal real quick. Um, maybe fight something along the way. I hope our party should be faster now that Clethy's here. So the first thing you'll notice is I can now see tracks on the map. The size of the party that made them, how long ago they were made. Um, I can also see farther, so I can see troops and stuff further on the map. Um, and lastly, we should be faster. So we were sitting about a 4.7 before, ah, 4.8. So we're a little bit faster, not a ton. And uh, sometimes the pathfinding in M and B is broken. Nope, we can't go off the edge of the cliff. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So again, we're just going to ride back to Uxal. Um, a bunch of us are healing up still. Um, we'll just keep this merchant. They're probably wondering what's going on. Uh, why did we go to Tahirim and now we're heading back to Uxal again? Shut up. My job is to protect you. Just follow me. They're so slow. They should not be this slow for mounted infantry. Uh, it says they're running, but they're heading towards me. Like I said, broken path finding. Are we going to catch him? No, we're not. We're too slow. Oh, they turned towards us. Hey, what is it? Luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. Brave words. Let's see them back them up with words. Foo. Okay, everyone holds this position. Except for... So this time we're actually going to do some stuff. So infantry are going to move forward here. I'm also going to tell the infantry to get into a... Shield wall. Not enough infantry to form a shield wall, but hold it. That's too bad. Oh well, the infantry will stay there. Everyone else is an archer. There's Clethy in her peasant dress with nothing but a dagger. I have bolts! I can shoot at them! Yes! I missed. That's terrible. And Clethy's gonna throw throwing daggers at them. So funny. Oh, I hit the horse. One of them died. Oh, did I just kill him? No, but I delivered 19 damage. That's better. Some real damage. Someone killed that guy. I got crossbow proficiency too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Just all around good stuff. Headshot on the horse. Wonderful. That's what I was aiming for here. That's a little bit short. We'll try about the same spot again though, because there's a few of them over there now. Nope. Not short again. Look at this troublemaker. Gotcha. Oh, wonderful, wonderful archers. Good job. Headshot, 44 damage, plus 4 crossbow proficiency. You better believe it, folks. And I think Clethy's getting shot because she has no shield, no real armor. And we'll just let these guys slowly advance in this because our archer, we have way more archers and way better archers. So these guys are just going to get lit up if they keep walking towards us slowly like this. Don't you dare shoot my horse. Oh, they're trying to flee the battle. No, you don't. He's trying to flee now, too, I think. Oh, that's annoying. Got him. One more. Trying to flee. He's dead. Well done, gentlemen. Nobody dead, nobody injured. I know Clefty took a little damage, but not that much. Ha ha! Access the item pool. Ooh! So here's all that wine I need to deliver to Uxal. These hoods are actually not bad. 
Um, and some some armor for Clathy that's better than nothing. Okay. Party. Clethy. So she took a little damage. She's at 71% health. Not the worst. Peasant dress. We're going to upgrade that to a tattered cloth tunic. Um, that's at least a little bit better. You have plus 10 boots. I don't have anything better right now. However, I do have a plus 19 uh, helmet, which is great. Um, get rid of that dagger. Use a cheap short sword instead. And a bent wooden shield. And let me just check if I can upgrade Marnid's equipment really quick. He's plus 18. This is plus 19. That's an upgrade. Sword and shield, plus 10 boots. Um, yep. That's it. So again, we're still heading back to Uxal. Awesome. That was exactly the type of battle we wanted. One other thing I want to check out right now. If we go to camp... Um, so this is a bunch of stuff to do with the mods, actually. Um, I can change a bunch of the game settings. You know what? I'm going to leave these here for now. I might look at that later. However, I can go to Companion Management. I'm going to assign some party roles to these companions. So right now I have a storekeeper, a quartermaster, and a... I don't even know how to pronounce this. The Gowler manages the party's prisoners. When a Gowler is hired, their prison management skill will be used instead of your own. I'm the best prison management guy, so I'm going to do that job. A quartermaster handles the party's trade goods. He will manage any equipment taken from the fallen enemies and attempt to obtain the best price available for it upon entering the next town for a 15% cut of the profits. Um, it seems like a lot. On the other hand, this will make the game a lot simpler. Later on in the game, we will start uh, working on that. And the storekeeper maintains the party stash of consumables. He's responsible for requiring new food stocks. Yeah. So later in the game, we'll start worrying about assigning party roles and stuff. There's got to be some sort of a tactical role as well, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. Again, some of the stuff with this mod is pretty complex and pretty cool. I just don't know how some of it works. <laughs> Boondock. I need to ask you something... Never mind. Yeah. So I just gotta... There's gotta be some way here to... Um, to set up our like tactical plans in battle. I just don't know what that way is. Again, we'll figure that out later. Not the end of the world. Quit running! Follow me, you fools! I'm in front of you with 41 troops and we slaughtered the last group of forest bandits. What you running for? So we'll deliver this wine, and then get on our way to Amarad. Hopefully get into some good battles on the way. Aw, oh, poor farmers. They're trying to get back to uh, Nomar, but there's forest bandits in the way. Well, I'm going to drop off this wine, then I'm just going to walk towards Nomar to help out those poor peasants. Hey, I got wine. Nice. I should leave now. Nope, I don't want to talk to the guildmaster. I want to... Wrong button. Good day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sell all my junk. 209 bucks. I'll take that. And actually, we might want to replenish some of our supplies. Honey, so expensive. So not worth it. Uh, grain's pretty cheap. And we could use some more of that. Bread's pretty cheap. We could use some more of that, too. So we'll only receive $114. That's fine. And actually, we will again recruit some more. Um, we want some more Swadian infantry, I believe. Um, and we'll just recruit as many as we can. So I'll just push this slider up a bunch, get as many as we can. I hired four Swadian infantry. So we got 12 now. So we actually have a decent number of, uh, decent number of infantry. And I'm, again, I'm feeling pretty confident, probably more confident than I should be. Uh, looks like people have been bouncing all over the place here. The uh, dastardly forest bandits and the good and wonderful townsfolk. So we need to get up to Amarad. Uh, we should probably go through Dehirm again, but I already went to Dehirm, so we'll just go straight to Halmar. Because that's sort of on the way. Actually, the salt mine, I don't know what this is, so we'll go check it out. I think this mart might be a part of the mod. 
During your day's travels, you come across a lone warrior traveling towards the Veluca. From him, you learn there will be a tournament held in the town by Count Matthias. Uh, abandon former plans. Veluca is not too far out of the way, and it's very close. And I missed that tournament in Sargoth, so we're going to go to the one in Veluca, because tournaments are awesome. And this caravan is wondering... Uh-oh. Oh, I owe my troops 111 bucks. Oh. That's bad. I have I should have zero dollars now then. Oh, that's that's very bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this caravan's gotta be wondering where we're going and what's up. We're just all over the place. That's okay. So yes, we'll go to Veluca. Tournament there. Um it's a chance to win some money, gain some prestige, etc. etc. Flirt with the ladies. No, I'm not joking. It is a chance to flirt with the ladies. I hope to run into at least one more group of bandits yet this episode. That would be nice. Beat them up a little bit. Count Matthias. I believe he's the one hosting the tournament, so I don't know where he's running off to, but he's got some injured troops there. Aha. This is a tournament. First we'll go to the tavern again. Search for any companions. Faithful Boondock's with me. Yes, I recognize that guy anywhere. It's my good buddy, Ham Hamid the Traveler. No, that's not who I wanted to talk to. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought that was another companion who we will meet later. In the meantime, we'll join in the tournament. I'm a little bit injured, which is bad. Um, I think I just went up a level somehow. So I'm a little bit injured, which means it's going to be tough to um, win this tournament, but I'll try my best. So I can change the tournament options. Um, oh, this is actually the screen I wanted to go to. Right now the difficulty's on... What do you mean? Difficulty's on easy. Oh, so they're... So this is one of the really cool things in the mod, is they adjust the amount of... Uh, just the um, a number of settings in in the tournament here. So I can place a wager on myself, which I don't want to do because I have zero dollars. Um, I can also select what kind of weapons and equipment I want, as I can do for my guys. I'm not going to do it for my guys. They can select their own stuff they already have. Three teams of four members. Four teams of eight members. That's considered hard, eh? We'll do that. Four teams of eight members each. You get a much better payoff, payout bonus. Always randomize equipment. No! No, I want specific types of equipment. I want a one-handed weapon and a shield. And I want enhanced armor, so I'm a little tougher. And enhanced weapons, so that um, I do a little more damage, which will be nice. Try not to use the shield as much as possible. Uh, display settings... I don't know what some of these are. I'm just going to leave it at that. We can also edit the tournament design that's part of the mod. I don't want to do that. We'll just leave the tournaments the same as they are in each town. We'll go ahead and fight in the next round. So, normally if you were half decent at this, you'd place a bet on yourself. Um, and hope to earn some money, but... I don't have any money. <laughs> what? Oh! There's a guy behind me. Oh! Ouch! Ouch! Did I just... Holy macaroni! He just one-shotted me. Oh, I got 21 damage from something earlier, though. Wow. I just got crushed. Um, this is embarrassing. So you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen there, there's the leaderboard. Again, this is part of the mod, very cool. Get to see who's doing one. Duncan is kicking some butt. I don't know who he is, but um, he's a pretty tough dude, apparently. Captain Lyre is doing pretty good clear. Captain Lyre. You can see on the top left how many people are left in each team. I don't even remember what team I was on, honestly. Um, <laughs> it's already skipped my mind. And my team apparently sucks. That guy's getting shot at. He's gonna die. Yep, he's rather not die. You only get knocked out in tournaments. No one ever dies. Is everyone all archers left, just shooting at each other willy-nilly? Oh, swords move coming. Oh, and there's a stalemate timer. Cool. Oh, <laughs> he's down. Oh, he's gonna be down shortly, I think. Who is this guy in blue? He's actually fighting pretty well. Is he going to survive? No. Oh, he's going to get 
yeah, he's gonna get gang beaten. Sorry, guy. So you can see what the round one rankings are, and the tournament standings will be the same because we're only through one round. Um, I did really bad. I'm probably on the last page. Yeah, zero. <laughs> we'll continue on, and we'll just fight the next round. And oh, it, I think it changed the team settings again. We'll just do our best here. Um, I was I'm at full health. How did I get knocked out like that? That's embarrassing. Oh, you suck! Attacking me from behind, buddy. So let's go get this green guy in the corner. I also get points for kills, so it'd be good if I got a couple of those, obviously. I'll just hack on you from behind. It's Marnid! Hey Marnid, how's it going, buddy? Ow. I have enhanced armor, buddy, that didn't hurt. Yeah, Captain Bud. Captain Bud. <laughs> what a name. Captain Bud. <laughs> Uh, what, were, what were they smoking when they named that guy? Oh my goodness, that's funny. Get out of here with your shield. Only I'm allowed to have a shield. You. Knocked him out. Who did I knock out just now? Boondock! Ha <laughs> ha! I got you, buddy! Oh, hey, hey, I was blocking! Get out of here, man! Really? That's gotta be... who knocked me out? Tron Silver knocked unconscious by Aiken. Well, you suck. Go get him, red guy. I think they're the only two left right now. And I should be able to move around in the map right now and look at this, but um, my keyboard lacks arrow keys. Yes, it lacks arrow keys, <laughs> believe it or not. It's that old of a keyboard, so I actually have to sit here and... Well, we could exit, but I want to see what happens here. Who's gonna win? Guardsman Parker of Uxel. Good job, Guardsman Parker. Fiercest competitor and swiftest cut awarded to Sir Tate. So if I go to the tournament standings, I'll see I should be somewhere in the list now. Yeah, I got two points. I'm on the second page. Yeah, yeah. How many pages are there? Four. So I'm not doing com completely terrible. Oh, man. This is going to be a mess. So many cavalry. I should probably get on a horse. I should probably be getting on a horse for this tournament. Oh, how did I not kill him? I did a ton of damage there. No, 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 no! Oh, I'm not allowed on the horse. That sucks. Did 40 damage to the horse. You're in trouble! Screw you! I was about to knock this guy out! Gotcha! Captain Bud got him again! He's, he's gonna be annoyed about that. No, 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 no! So many! So many of them! Let's get the blue guy while he's not paying attention. Gotcha! Alvin! Where are your chipmunks now? Brandon! Got him too! I'm doing good. Dude, my team's doing good too! We're kicking butt! Oh, you fools are screwed! There's one guy left on blue team, one guy left on yellow team, and the rest of them are done. Oh, you can also sprint in this mod. Um, I forgot about this until just now, because I'm always on horseback. But this is something not in the vanilla Mountain Blade, which is really useful and really cool. Oh, he's the last one! I want him! I want him! Come on, let me sprint, let me sprint, let me sprint! Oh, Clethy! Clethy? Where's, where's... Clethy was there. Oh, okay. Overall tournament standings. I did not too bad. Neither did Boonduck. Not bad. We both got eight points. We're on the first page. Um, if we go finish the tournament, unfortunately, I don't get anything for it because I wasn't in the top three. These guys get some prizes, a bunch of money, some experience, some renown. 1,500 dinars would have been nice. And as well, elite cavalry shield or something like that. That would have been really nice. Is there anything happening at the castle? Just guards and a lady. That's fine. I think I still have zero dollars, despite the fact that I did half decently at the tournament. Half decently is not enough to win money. Um, you can place bets on yourself on a round-by-round -round basis, but again, uh, I didn't have any money. <laughs> I'm all out of money. So we'll go to the salt mine. 
I think we'll check that out. Probably be the last thing we do in this episode here. Merchant caravan still following. Everyone's at full health. That's wonderful. I thought people were injured. It looks like uh, we might have been healed for the tournament or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Do you smell that fresh air, brother? This was my home before I went abroad in search of coin. It is good to be up in the hills again. It is the smell of freedom. This is the cradle of Rodok Liberty here under Grunwalder Castle. Tell me more. In my father's day, the Swadians would come calling, thinking to make us knuckle our foreheads and call them their overlords. But Grunwalder, an old veteran of the wars from the hills, showed us how to form a battle line with spear and crossbow that could break a Swadian charge. He fell in battle, but the people gave his name to the castle that was built here where he fell, so that we would remember and always stand firm against the horseman's onslaught. We grow mulberry trees here for silk and kerms too for the dye. Kerms? Words I don't know how to pronounce. We take it to Jal... Jalkala, where they weave it into the finest velvet. Not that I've ever had enough dinars in my pocket to buy velvet, mind, but the craftsmen of Jalkala also make good crossbows, and for that I'll not begrudge them their little luxuries. Cool. So this is something you'll have throughout the game. Um, unfortunately, these companion, like, little interest stories will only pop up once. So Boondock only has one story. When we get close to Grenwalder Castle, he'll say something a little interesting. We'll find out a little bit about his backstory. Um, but that'll never happen again, which is unfortunate. Uh, it'd be nice if they expanded the game so that uh, mod makers, for example, could put in multiple encounters, or encounters that happened um, over different time frames. As it is, just uh, it, it's a cool thing to have happen to pop up all of a sudden, uh, but it doesn't happen often enough. So we're going to the woods here. We could be attacked. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> we could be attacked. Wouldn't that be awesome? What was that? A provision caravan from a castle? Dude, there's some cool things in this mod. Emmer Guana? Guana's party. He's of the Cernet Sultanate. You know? Um He's a lot of Sarnet skirmishers who are not very tough. Sarnet veteran footmen are though. I sort of feel I could almost take him. Close to. Close to. This is the closest I've ever seen the Lord to being attackable. I'm Tron Silver at your service, sir. And he's a jerk, too. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try to fight him. It'll end badly, though, and the Sarnids will hate me. You know what? This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Do you have any tasks for me? Jalcala? No, I'm not going back to Jalcala, man, to deliver a letter. That's crazy talk. Okay, let's check out the salt mine. I think I might be able to sell prisoners here, I believe, to work in the salt mine. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look, though. You enter a small village area consisting of many worn-down wooden buildings held together within a fortified wall. The main dirt road leads you toward a central building with a sign depicting Barinzin's outpost. To the west, the mouth of a large cave is visible with carts emerging, pushing out by weary workmen toward a large warehouse behind the outpost. Armed men stand by with vigilant eye toward the crowd and your party as you enter. Let's speak with the trader. Oh, he has salt and tools. Well, that's it. I don't have any money. So the salt would be useful because we could buy it and sell it for more somewhere else. Are there more of these places in the map? There's the salt mine. Are there... There's training fields. Those are in the vanilla version as well. I wonder if the salt mine is added by the mod. It's been so long since I've played Mountain Blade. And there's been so many revisions. I don't even know. Change of plans. I said we might stop at the salt mine. We will not. We will go to Hallmar. We will at least escort this caravan all the way to Amarad. And then we'll stop the episode. So a few more things I want to do. I don't know why my relations increasing with these lords from negative three to negative two. I've never talked to them. I don't know them. They probably don't know who I am. I'm not of any repute. I mean, if I look at my personal reports, I have 29 renown. Um, that's very little. View tournament history. Oh, cool. I can check out my tournament history. Nice. Earnings, 2,625 dinars. I didn't get any money for that. That's a lie. There's a, v a variety of other reports we can look at, but um, that's fine. Um, I might actually do some fighting off camera here after the episode. We'll have to see see what goes on here. So this is the territory of the Kurgit Kun. Kenate? 
Cricket Canate. I always put a G in there in the second word for some reason. That's wrong. These guys are good horse archers and such. Pharis the Slaver, Matthias the Traveler. You guys are uh, sort of dressed the same. Nothing good going on here. We'll press onwards to Turkuba. Merchant caravan still following us. Good, good. Again, this is the territory of Sarnid Sultanate. Salt, Sultanate. Yeah, Sultanate. That seems like the right pronunciation. He's really low on troops as well. Why is that? They must have just been involved in some major battles or something. Caravan. I could fight a caravan. No, this is all foolishness. If you fight a caravan or you fight a lord, A, the lord will hate you, and B, the king will be angry at you. So caravan will be a little better, because they'd at least be easier to kill, and they'd have lots of goods on them, but the kingdom would not be happy, and you might lose some honor. I'm at zero. I don't think you can go to negative honor, but either way, I'm not a I'm not a bad guy. I'm the good guy. I'm beating up forest bandits and such. I'm not trying to wipe out caravans for no reason at all. Oh, there's a tournament here too. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fight in another tournament. An explorer and a slaver. That's fine. We're going to go fight in the tournament again. So I go fight in the next round or change tournament options. So I've already selected my one handed and shield enhanced armor. Maybe I should get a horse. You know, we're going to try this. We're going to try this with the horse. We'll fight in the next round. Heal my blade! There's a lot of guys on horseback. This scares me. Oh, let's go beat up on unarmed archers. Yeah. This is a plan, man. This is a plan I like. Oh, no, you don't, punk. Oh, you're going to get beat up by this archer. <gasps> received 11 damage. I shouldn't have received any damage. Oh, that archer guy uh, got that guy right off the horse. What? Ow, ow, ow. Delivered 15 damage, huh? Oh, he's not out yet. Get out of here! Really? Oh, I delivered at least enough damage to knock out one guy, but it was distributed among at least two different guys, and then they, someone just got me from behind. How mean. How mean. Looks like Red's doing all right. Bit of a battle going on over here as well. That Red Cavalry man's doing pretty well. And check out all these guys on different teams chasing after him. Income groups. Oh, now they're fighting each other. Yeah, I think Red's probably going to take this. Oh, this guy's going to get stuck on the wall. Yep, they're going to swarm him. Jaber is his name. I think there's one guy left on green team over here chucking javelins. That's not a good place for you to be, buddy. You're gonna die. And they're probably gonna fight right behind this pillar such that we can't see anything. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I wish I had arrow keys on this keyboard. <laughs> I wish I could go around and look at stuff. Nope. We're just gonna fight the next round with what I got. We'll do better this time. Ooh, we're getting charged. Okay, I wanna go pick on the weak guys again. You go ahead and throw a javelin at me or something. Oh, I can't believe I just missed that and got stuck on a wall. Come on, it's RGO. 33 damage. And someone else is going to finish him as needs. So blue guy is the jerk. 26. I want the kill! <laughs> Screw off, Din! I was busy trying to hit this guy. Why you got to get up in my grill? Really? Ah. Okay, these tournaments are substantially harder than tournaments used to be. I'm going to say that right now. Um, the mod writers did an excellent job making this actually difficult. Or maybe it's just that I'm in tournaments very early in the game. Maybe it's that I haven't played Mountain Blade in a while, but this feels pretty tough. Look at this, Din's winning. At least I got knocked up by the best guy. I guess that's, that's something. Damn. 
Din has been knocked off his mount. Din was knocked unconscious. Oh. Okay, we can't see that corner there, so I'm just going to leave. Do you wish to exit? Doing so will cause all surviving competitors to gain three points. No. That's not fair. I'm unconscious. Why do they gain points? I don't have arrow keys. I can't look around. <laughs> you know, there's surprisingly few people um, in the stands here, if you look at it. You'd think it'd be a little more packed, given the craziness that's going on in here, but apparently not. I don't think this green guy's gonna survive here. Oh, yeah, he's hooped. Oh well. We're just gonna fight in the next round and see what happens here. Stupid red guys. No. 22 damage to horse. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, this is a mess. I guess I could command these guys and try to get something better done, but. Did I just knock someone else? Knock someone out? Nope. I didn't get that kill. That's too bad. This guy's chasing after one of my friends! Oh, missed. 13 damage. That's like nothing! 15 damage. There we go. That's a little better. He parried that. What a jerk. What a jerk these guys are. 37! That'll, that'll do you in. Gotcha! Hope. Okay, people. Oh, don't you dare finish him. He's mine. Gotcha. Knock, knock feet. We're on blue team, right? We're winning. We're doing well. Oh, I missed him. An idiot. Missed. Horse received a bunch of damage. Oh, and that was a bad hit. Ooh, that really hurt. 43 damage, holy macaroni, these guys are tough. Cleared 14 damage to horse, that's not useful. Get out of here with your... No! Who threw that? Who who threw that? Aw. At least I got two. And my teammates screwed. Yep. Red team was too much for us. Finished the tournament, I didn't get anything out of it. Oh well. I believe we already looked at the um, tavern. I still don't have any money. We'll get some when we go to Amrad though, because we'll finish escorting this caravan, and I believe we'll get paid then. These desert bandits are quite fast. Wait, we can outrun these guys? No, uh, that's because they're in the trees. So they're at a speed of 6.2, I'm a 4.9. Uh, they'll completely outrun me every time. These guys are all in cavalry. They're quite dangerous. 13 plus 4. Oh, I'd love to rescue those farmers again. These guys are just way too fast, though. A desert bandit lair. Oh, I know what we're doing next episode. Mm-hmm. So we should see the caravan come and be like, Yo, thanks for dropping us off here. Gain all the levels. 1450 dinars? Mmm. <clears throat> okay. And a whole bunch of people need to level up too, eh? Everyone needs to level up. Awesome. Okay. One last thing. We're going to go to the tavern. <laughs> See if anybody's here. Minstrel. Nizar. Nizar's a guy I could recruit. But he fights with some of the other people in the party. Jeremus. You know what, this episode's running over time already. Well over time. We got a whole bunch of stuff to do next episode. So, sorry I'm afraid I'm otherwise engaged right now. I'll talk to him in a second though. So we have one, maybe two new companions to recruit. A whole bunch of money we can spend on equipping them maybe and figuring something out. We have a desert bandit lair to deal with. As well, there's a lord in this town who we'll talk to real quick. And a whole bunch of people to level up. So that's probably what I'll do at the beginning of next episode. Oh, I went up two levels. I forgot to level up. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, so that should about do it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.